Rushdi. And now it is my uh, happiness to introduce my dear colleague and one of our eminent vascular surgeon, Professor Tamer Khafagi. He will uh, introduce his lecture uh, titled The Epsilioid Hemangioma of IVC, Initial Castor Directed Thrombolysis Unmask the Diagnosis. Thank you, Dr. Hussam, and thank you for the panel. Uh, I will talk today about uh, epithelioid hemangioma of the inferior vena cava, initial uh, catheter directed thrombolysis, unmask the diagnosis. The primary vascular tumors are distinctly uncommon and pose a diagnostic and a treatment challenge. The inferior vena cava is an uh, unusual site of the primary tumor development. Several different primary neoplastic disease may affect the IVC, uh, but only three cases have been reported to date with epithelioid hemangioendotheliomas. The epithelioid hemangioma has not been reported up to date as a primary tumor of the IVC. The case history, uh, a previous healthy 45-year-old uh, female, no significant past medical uh, history, uh, presented to emergency hospital with epigastric abdominal pain referred to the back that had uh, developed over a three-day period. By duplex ultrasound, a well-defined high uh, isoechoic uh, thrombus in the subhepatic suprarenal IVC measured about 2.5 uh, by 3 by 4 centimeter, and uh, there is attenuated IVC part above uh, the thrombus. The CTA demonstrates dilated subhepatic suprarenal inferior vena cava with large hypodense uh, intraluminal thrombus. No extension uh, into renal or hepatic veins could uh, be detected in the CTA. The patient uh, was placed on continuous heparin infusion and taken to the operative room for castor directed thrombolysis. Despite 48 hours of direct thrombolytic therapy, there was partial patency and follow-up venogram demonstrated persistent IVC filling defect with a floppy-like sensation felt by the operator when the catheter was directed to this mass. The operator suspected IVC tumor, thrombosis, and the patient was then undergoing further assessment we do another duplex ultrasonography, which demonstrated a well-defined mass inside the uh, uh, subhepatic suprarenal IVC with venous flow uh, around. This is uh, the mass inside the IVC, and this is the flow around this mass. We do MRI of the abdomen with intravenous contrast with revealed dilated IVC with lobulated smoothly marginated intraluminal soft tissue mass without significant enhancement in the arterial phase, but it shows uh, moderate enhancement of the mass in the delayed phase. This is uh, the mass inside the IVC attached to one side and it is uh, lobulated. Now, what to do? Uh, we have three choices, conservative treatment, but this uh, will not get any benefit because the, the mass will not resolve with conservative treatment. The second choice was uh, PTA plus stenting, but uh, we can imagine this stent will be uh, fractured if it, was, if it is compressed by the mass. So we choose the surgical excision. The surgical uh, excision of the intravascular mass of the inferior vena cava. Uh, firstly, we do uh, exposure of the dilated subhepatic uh, IVC. The renal veins uh, were uh, dissected also. You can see the IVC and these uh, loops on the renal veins. After this, uh, the mass was dissected from the medial wall of the IVC through a longitudinal incision. This is the mass, how it looks like. And this is the IVC after uh, excision of this mass. Then the incision is repaired through direct repair with uh, transverse sutures. 
And this is uh, the six months follow-up uh, computed tomography and geography show no recurrence of any masses and patency of the IPC. By microscopic examination, it revealed uh, epithelioid uh, hemangioma, and to our best knowledge, it is the first in the literature to report epithelioid hemangioma of the IPC. Thank you for your attention.